Sim, sim. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we should have an exciting matchup on our hands as we join you from the Georgia Dome. This coaching matchup today, one of the most tenured coaches in the sport, going against a guy who's a relative newcomer patrolling the sidelines. Yeah, when you talk about newcomers to the NFL and a new coach, well, you know, Tim, the big thing is how well does he know his football team? Can he trust his player in certain, certain situations? Usually it takes experience before you get to know them all, so I think it's a tough matchup for the new coach. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Defense comes out in a 4-6 formation. The Rams out now in a 4-6 formation. Has the reception all alone. Pants complete, but did not get them the first, so it's second down now. Defense filling up the box here with a 4-6 formation. Gets the handle here. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. Nothing fancy about that, but it's a good run. Gets a first down. Now the offense has three more chances. The Rams defense lined up in a 4-6 formation. Now first and ten. And Houston shuts down the outside run for a loss. Taking a look at this offense at six foot four, one of the biggest threats in the game on the outside is Julio Jones. Well, the Atlanta Falcons, they moved up to the 2011 draft to get Julio Jones, and nobody laughs about that decision because he has been terrific for the offense. He has just got everything you want in a big time wide receiver. As we feature now, the defensive starters, Paul Poslesny, has been getting it done at inside linebacker for many a season since coming out of Penn State in 2007. Yeah, you know what you're going to get from him, Jim. That's for sure. Set. You know he's going to know what to do. He's tough, and he gives great effort. Those are great traits to have as a middle linebacker. They call on Brett Kern to punt the football. Going to try his luck here. And Austin is brought down. They come to the line, and it's first down. Frank Gore is in the backfield from the gun. the ball out incomplete this offensive line today will be leaned on to protect their quarterback as well as opening up some running lanes the Falcons sat at the line dime package will send it back to the quarterback out of the gun has a catch for the first Anytime you have man-to-man -man coverage like we see this time, it's all about the receiver getting away from the defender. He doesn't, and the quarterback puts it right on him. First down, following the long play. And Gore is brought down. The Rams offensive line will be whooping it up tomorrow when they watch this play in the field. Room. What a good job by them. Excellent planning and awesome execution. They're able to move the chains after that last run. And the give to Frank Gore. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. 
taking a look at this defensive lineup. He's been flying around the field since coming out of Ohio State in 2009. James Laurinaitis. You said it right. He can fly around the field. He looks the part of a middle linebacker, and he can sure act the part too, can he? He can make the tackles. He's tough. He's smart. One of the best middle linebackers in the NFL. It'll be third and seven now after that incompletion. Griffin by himself in the backfield. Out of the gun. Pass Olsen. Tackles made and the first down is picked up. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. out of bounds the offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive second down and ten up the middle and gains about one this will be the eighth play of this drive Griffin, play action, running away from the pressure. The defense gets the sack. Well, the defense has got to be excited. Anytime on third down they make the play, uh, they get pretty fired up. But when you sack a quarterback on third down, that is one happy and emotional defense right now. And the kick is good for three. You always want to be rewarded for a nice drive in a football game, even when it's a field goal. Because you've made a lot of good plays, you've executed them, you've got yourself in position to get some points, and that field goal just reinforces everything. Falcons now bring their offense back onto the field for the next drive. Offense lines up here. First down at the 20. Set up screen. Has his man. That picks up 11. Kid this time, it's a halfback screen. Nice job by the quarterback. The halfback, good job after catching it. Picked up some good yards. First down here after the completion. Offense lines up here. Out of the shotgun. Pass his target. And making the stop, it's Malcolm Jenkins. The key to being a really good route runner and running these drag routes across the field is show some courage. Don't worry about what's in front of you. The quarterback will take care of that. Second down coming up. Offense lines up here. Looking to the right side and throwing. Sherman gets a hand in there and knocks it away. There are a lot of ways to attack cover, too. You can go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are, or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, then throw it short underneath the defense. The defense gets a sack. Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down, and that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. Looking for a lane on the return. This is a big-time return. The Rams love this type of play. Of course, everybody would. When you get a good punt return, that's what you want. And, of course, it helps when you have an explosive punt return back there. The Rams come onto the field for their next series. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Play fake. Launching it deep. Wow, what a catch. Quarterbacks love throwing the football against cover three. They're, the defense is trying to stop the big pass plays down the field. So you can clearly see when somebody's around the receiver, throw it out there near the sideline, get these easy completions. He's looking to the right here. Makes the catch. Touchdown. Nowadays, these receivers can do it all. Look at the jump and catch by the wide receiver. The defensive back 
He has no chance here. Inside of the uprights. The Falcons ready to return the kick. Six yard line. <laughs> the Falcons offense heads on to the field. Midway, second quarter, keeps it on the play thing, makes the reception. Two minute warning. After that grab, it's now second down and two. A good job by the quarterback that time inside of two minutes in the first half you got to get rid of the football if nobody's open just throw it away that time he loses yards by taking the sack just a quick drop back and he's gonna be sacked so just three plays and out for the offense So now they'll call on Kern to punt the football. The Falcons get to this one first, and they'll down it. It's first down as they head to the line. Stewart lined up in the backfield. And the give to Frank Gore. Rocked for a loss on that tackle. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense. And now they have a good situation. Second and ten. Griffin going to take off with it. The Rams now move the chains. Well, you play this coverage, cover four. In other words, you got four defenders playing deep, equally spread across the field. Well, who's going to cover the end cuts and underneath? Nobody. That's why the quarterback got an easy completion that time on the end route. The Rams signal for the timeout, and that's the first one they've used. This will be second down. RG3 out of the pistol. Behind that left side, incomplete. Well, the protection was bad. Quarterback didn't have the time. He's off balance, and he throws the incompletion. Third down. Within the third, we'll have it in the pistol. Getting away from the pressure. That ball is rifled to Randall Cobb, who makes the catch. First down coming up. They're going to the hurry. Back to the line now. Let's see how they back up the big play here. RG3 going down. Scores the touchdown. The fade route, it's a big part of every offense now in the NFL. We see it here. Look at the receiver. Hits the defender inside. Beautiful throw to the outside. Fade for a touchdown. Rams ready to boot the football down the field. to him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. Falcons are ready to take over now as their offense heads onto the field. Defense with plenty of bodies in the box here on this play. They give it to him on the counter. Good work by the defense. This will be a loss of three. We've come to the end of the first half in the Olympic City of Atlanta. We'll take a quick break here for halftime before returning for the start of the third.
and he'll start his return. Muscles through the defender. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. First down on the way. They bring in the extra tight end. Play action. Throws to the right. Incomplete. Jennings was in the vicinity. Well, you want to put all the pressure on the quarterback to make really good throws down the field. Play tight man-to-man -man coverage. It takes perfect throws to get completions. Not there that time. An extra tight end on the field for this one. The Rams from the 22. He'll keep it on the play fake. Now on the move. Should have been, could have been intercepted that time by Moore. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. Double tight end formation. Andre Johnson on the deep pass. What a catch. That's an awesome job by the offense picking up this first down here in the second half. They've got a big lead. It's not about scoring anymore. It's just about milking that clock. And that is an art, and this team is good at it. Here's the first snap after the big play. Keeps it here. As Cameron is brought to a halt. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up. And when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. The Rams have it at the 24. Keeps his legs moving. And he's forced to the ground. Well, that was an aggressive play by the defense. That's risk-reward. The, the reward, of course, is sacking the quarterback like they did. Well, the risk is if you don't get there, you could give up a big play. It's a two-tight end formation. Third down and six. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Very nearly intercepted. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game. They can't be picked off. Most of the time they're dropped. And this time, that was a bad drop by the defense. The offense is back on the field here for this fourth and sixth play. Wilson set, empty backfield. The Rams snap it up at the 26. Ooh, they fail to pick up the first, and the ball will go back to the other side. Good job by the defense. Their team is down. It's in the second half, and the opposing offense, what do they do? They go for it on fourth down. You are ready for the play. You make the stop. That'll turn things around. When you see zone defenses, throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback did that time. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. Sherman gets a hand in there and knocks it away. That is so tough to do. To be that close to these receivers and able to knock the pass down without getting a penalty. Good job. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. They're going to the hurry-up offense, and they're back to the line quickly. Midway into the third. And, but the hit knocks the ball out. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the kids. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Looking to the right side and throwing. Got a hand on it. No force the incompletion. He's such a smart linebacker. That's one of the reasons why he was able to knock that pass down that time. He diagnosed the play. He saw what it was going to be. Got himself in position, and he made it happen. From the gun. He's got the catch. Good yardage picked up on that ball. The offense picks up another first down and extends this drive. They are, Jim, they're marching down the field, and I give all the credit to the offensive line. They are dominating the defense right now. From the shotgun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Uh -huh. 
Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Play fake. Throws to the right. Out to Smith. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. And that pass is swatted away by Hayden. And this defender probably can block a lot of shots in basketball games, too. That's a, just a wonderful job. Good timing, and he swats the football away for the incompletion. Looking to the right side and throwing. Bumble. The defense has the football. That will stop the play right there. Great job by the defense, forcing and recovering the fumble. You said the appropriate word there, forcing. The hit was so solid and so good, the offensive player had no, he had no choice. He had to give up the football. Offense lines up here. First down and 10. Takes it out of the eye. And he's brought to the ground. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. RG3 has it under center. The Rams have it at the 29. Keeps it here. Scrambling now. Beautiful job that time by the QB. He goes back there in the pass play. He doesn't like what he sees. And he just takes off and gets the yards and gets a first down. First down. Offense readying for the snap. Coming to the line. Hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Still got it after the play action. He's got the catch. Tackled at the 29-yard line. Anytime you have a play action pass as a quarterback, make sure you sell that fake. And then look up, find that coverage, decide where to throw the football. That was a nice job that time. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Keeps it here. Throw to the left. As Olsen. And he's on the sidelines and out of bounds. The Rams still on offense to start the fourth. Capped off the third quarter with a huge play. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Sets them up here on this play. And he's across for the touchdown. That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. Steven Gostowski is readying his team for the kickoff. And this is Gim running it out. Tackle just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. First down here. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Almost intercepted that time. Well, Jim, I threw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted and the guy dropped it. You just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on that break? Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Second down and 10. Catch made. In on the stop. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. They get set quickly. Ready for another snap. Play fake. Launches it down the field. Has the catch. Finally, a third down conversion. When you can throw the football that high, that accurate, and man, it is beautiful. Right on the target. Nice catch. What a play. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Keeps it on the play thing, and he's thrown to the ground. There is nothing worse for a quarterback than have the pocket collapse. And that time they collapse on his left side, there's nothing he can do, and he goes down for the sack. To that sack dropped them back nine yards. It sets up second down and 19. Wide receivers are bunched up. Play action. 
fights through contact. Looking long. And they can't connect. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines, they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. The Falcons from the 32. That's an interception. It's wide open. No one's going to get him now. The 20, the 10. Going to take it home for the touchdown. You're talking about getting your team full of emotion and getting everything on your side. How about that interception by the defense and then taking it back all the way from the score? The Falcons in kick return formation. And this is Ginn running it out. Ginn takes the hit and is brought down. The Falcons are ready to take over now, and their offense heads on to the field. Falcons with an empty backfield look here. First and ten. He'll throw it over the middle. Secures it with two hands. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do, just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. Finds Thomas. The tackle was made. Well, that'll make you feel a little better. Finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half, and you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. They face first down. This play set up by the long gainer. Dropping back now into the shotgun. On the money. Touchdown. And they cut into that lead. Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas. And even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open and make the catch. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. will test the coverage. First down here. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Really good job by the defensive coordinator. Good time to call that blitz. Catches the offense by a surprise, and they just outnumber him, and they get to the quarterback, and they take him down. The Rams take it from the 23. Out of the pocket. Wide open for the catch. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Timeout won't be used here. They'll go to the hurry. Griffin, play action. Andre Johnson on the deep pass, but they can't connect. In the NFL, you got to throw the football deep down the field, but the quarterback just, he overthrows it. Second down now. Offense lines up here. He'll keep it on the play fake. He's looking over model with the pick. And he heads to the sidelines out of bounds. Good job that time by the defense. Not being full, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. The Falcons are at the line of scrimmage with a spread formation. Now first and ten. Trying to work that left side. give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Full the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown.
this thing. They get the touchdown, but still they fail to get the two. Jim, I think it takes a lot away from the football team. It's a terrible decision. Now we'll find out that one point comes back to harm. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. The Rams offense ready now to see what it can do. First down at the 47. Scrambling out of the pocket. Finds his mark. And at the 37, he'll be brought down. They come to the line, and it's first down. Going to the hurry up. Under a minute to go here. Keeps it here. They're going to get him here for a sack. It is without a doubt the worst place to get pressure up the middle on the quarterback. It happened that time, and he did the right thing. Just take the sack. And now they'll try over again on second down. Gore is in the backfield. Play action fake. Looking to throw. And he's sacked again. Well, good job that time by the defense. They catch the offense off guard, and they send more guys than the offensive line can block. When you're outnumbered, it's up to the quarterback to get rid of the football. He doesn't, and he takes the sack. Play fake. Complete to Jeffrey. He's tackled beyond the markers. That's a first down. They'll go to the hurry up here as the clock runs. Throws to the right. And the pass goes incomplete. Polamalu had that entire area covered. That leads us to second down. They come out in the dime package. Takes off with it. Looking to the right side and throwing. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Should be what we call a gimme. And he puts it through for three. When you get great field position, Jim, you got to take advantage of it. The offense didn't do it. I blame the coach. Those were terrible play calls, but a good kick by the kicker. That's a timeout ball. The Falcons ready to return the kick. Taking no chances here with the squib kick. And he's brought down right at the 42. It's first down as they head to the line. He's setting up here. He's been sacked five times today. Really been beat up. Keeps it here. Looking long to Julio Jones. Almost intercepted. How much sweeter is practice going to be this week after the win on that sideline? Once you win, practice is easier because your confidence is high. You feel good about what you've done from the previous week because you won. 